very warm welcome to you for this evening's game. Regrettably, the weather has been extremely unkind to us here. It is wet and blustery and remarkably inhospitable. Despite all of that, it is good to see that the faithful from both sides have apparently been undeterred. We have a terrific turnout here. The atmosphere is bubbling despite these adverse conditions. All we need now is for the game to live up to its initial billing. And expectations are rising and decibel levels are rising. The noise is quite something. You can feel what football means to the people in this part of the world. Well, there are plenty looking forward to seeing this. A capacity crowd here. Well, on the face of it, Peter, we would appear to have a high-caliber meeting with very little at stake. But then you consider a, a chance for one or two of the fringe players to get a look in. And this becomes a big incentive, it changes the dynamic. So there's plenty at stake for them, which will do no harm to the energy levels and the overall conviction, and hopefully the style of contest. We have already started here. Who do you, Jim, see making the difference here? The fellow you're looking at, Peter, Ashraf Hakimi. I think one of the better offensive fullbacks anywhere in the world. He's very much the modern fullback. He was a winger, moved a little bit deeper, but he still has that passion to get forward. And we know it's backed up by a, a great engine, and occasionally an eye for goal. OK, interesting. Marquinhos gets good distance on it. Nuno Mendes. Paris Saint-Germain, Dembele is hiring after that one, Schuller, turns back here, probably the best option, move forward and quickly so, well that tackle was certainly sturdy. Ugarte ping towards the front line that has been cut short shifted upfield oh, he's going to be disappointed with that played out towards the right wing Royce Grignard, defending his corner stubbornly, stood up very well to his man. Now it's Mbappe. He's a sharp little ball here. Bocola! Goal, Paris Saint-Germain! And Paris Saint-Germain take the lead. The invitation was clear and it was accepted with the utmost glee. That's just a great finish, but it's down to very clever movement. You can see this has been obviously worked on on the training ground. He knew exactly where he wanted the ball and it all came good. There's the whistle for half-time. Steady, solid, and for now, where they want to be. Just one goal, and they have it. Good effort from both sides, but at half-time, it is 1-0. Well, it hasn't exactly got the plan so far, but there's no need to panic. There's still plenty of time to get back into this. As always, an early goal would help swing things back in their favour. So we're just settling back into this second half. Borussia Dortmund don't need to press the panic button just yet. They may have to tweak their, their setup first if they don't grab an early goal in this second half. They can't hold back though. Gently done. Barcola chasing after it. Chan. Marlon. Oh, such a clever touch. And it's Mernier. 
Oh, nice touch. And here's Royce. Oh, good spread. Goes searching with that cross. And he's there to get rid. Good guard take. Barcola, whose goal scoring skills have already been evident. Almost an hour gone. So, Jim, what are you thinking? Borussia Dortmund are not doing enough to get themselves. Mbappe! Last ditch defending, but that'll do. Skrinja. Here's Bettinia. And he's forced to go back. Played over towards the opposite flank. Fabian Ruiz. Azil. And that's been won straight back. Sancho. And it's Royce. And Chan. Royce. Keep calm and carry on. That's the job in a nutshell now. And he cuts out the supply. Still no regard tape. Has been caught there, it's a foul. physical challenge goes forward it's an inviting looking ball that Fabian Ruiz Paris Saint-Germain clearly now in lead preservation mode Barcola now it's Mbappe Mbappe keeper pulls up a fine save the keeper really dug out his defence then a magnificent effort Leave it clear. Paris Saint Germain certainly don't need to overcommit now. Their priority lies further back. And the referee brings it to a close.